Hi there and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to install the Costa version 620 is a relative new release, well not so new main 15 but I received a few requests knowing how to install so here you have the link also in the video description you will have the link so you can just check where are the new improvement here in release no and so on but for the moment let's address now the installation so you can download the source code so let's address the installation so as you have followed the previous video for for the code 619 and so on the installation pretty much is the same nothing changed so at this point just can you can skip the video and just install it will work if you are new here uh you're gonna stay tuned here i will show you the steps so the first thing is you need to download the code i already downloaded here so in the source code you have the source code so one thing that i'm working with is important open 15.5 uh, and using windows existing linux but pretty much is the same as a linux standard but what is important in using uh open 15.5 is depending on the operating system there are a few changes also in the video description you will have these instructions on how to install so just to address a little bit here so you have the links here where to find the source code and so on and remember open 15.5 here you have compulsory dependencies okay so if you already don't have them install these dependencies and then this is very specific for dakota later we have some other videos and how to install some other applications like open phone and so on but this is very very specific for Dakota so if you don't have then go ahead and install install these applications okay it's very safe it's your this is what you need for Dakota and then we go to the installation steps which is very very easy then remember that we will need to update our bash rc just to point out where we install Dakota so you can install whatever you want in my case I create this directory, Dakota, then I extract the source code here. So this is the source code. This is for the GUI application that I'm going to show you. Here you need to install to compile anything. It's, it's pretty much out of the box. And then to do the compilation, create a folder here already created. And let me erase this one. Okay. So if you download in the directory of your preference the source code and so on you should have something like this after extracting these files that you can file and find in the in the in the github of dakota so basically let's go here let me do like this and this is the directory where i'm going to put all the executables now so dakota you cc make so as soon as you are here you go cc make then point to the directory where you have the source code so one thing that there are many ways to do this but i like to do it like this half to separate you know, my original source code to the installation so now press no send and you are in cc make here you press c to configure and it will create the configuration now using cc make and let's wait a little bit so this is just configuration files and so on we're done there and at this point pretty much you can take some time you can read all these flags that you have here but what is important for us is this one here so this is the prefix where do 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 do, do you want to install the code so if you don't put anything it will put it here so it will be a system-wide installation you need your root password and so on so my advice to install the code and on a user for a specific user in my case i'm going to put it there so let me go here i put there the directory and that's all now it's going to install everything there source code examples libraries dynamic libraries and so on and pretty much that's it Okay, so now look at here, you have some instructions, you have advanced options and so on. So as you press configure to reconfigure these scripts and let's go here, it will give you this error. So pay attention to this error, this very specific flag. Okay, this is if you're following uh, my, my, my steps in open source of 15.5. I will show you how to do it, but maybe if you have another operating system, always pay pay attention now to the error and then you can fix it. So here I press it, go back, and now I need to access advanced options now. So press T, you have here toggle advanced options, and then just go down. 
okay recall that was something really you know so there are many auctions so you can spend some time to see the auctions you will like sometimes you may need to enable or disable some auctions the default auctions are okay so but feel free to to to, to pay to play with the auctions and we're getting there now the trillions okay bam, 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 bam. and this is the auction so as you recall was trillions set groups and permissions again here just Erase that one, so basically it's putting those files in that directory. We need to put the same directory. Uh, as I mentioned, you feel free to read here. There are many auctions. I'm not going into details. Honestly, I use the default auctions. Sometimes I change something for very specific external libraries, or I want the MPI compilation. But you can read the, 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 the source, the, the documentation for more information. The standard auctions are okay. So now that you made those two modification, press C, configure and everything should proceed with no problem we have the scripts and net <clears throat> now we need to press g to generate everything and that's all so we have <coughs> all the configuration scripts <clears throat> and at this point we can compile okay, compile so the compilation is the classical make and then we can also exploit parallelization so let's say in this case they have a core and off you go. So now I will start with the compilation. So depending on the number of cores, I put A's, you have 36, whatever. This can be a relative fast process. By the way, sometimes when you are compiling in parallel, sometimes can mysteriously crash with an error. I don't know, maybe it will crash here. Uh, then you just need to re, uh, to launch again the, the compilation. So I recommend you to do it. Uh, not, do not use many cores. So probably co uh, four cores is more than enough. So now my fan in my laptop is just kicking in, so getting very noisy. So I will let it compile, and then let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm back. The compilation went smoothly. In my case, I use eight cores, it didn't crash, but remember that sometimes when you use many cores, it might happen that it will crash, but it's just you not know, the compilation and stuff, it's nothing, <clears throat> nothing bad. So at this point, you get also this, this is a warning. So something that I check doesn't create any, <clears throat> any problem, any conflict, but yeah, it's something that probably in the future <laughs> I might try to to eliminate this warning, it was just it's a, it's a warning, don't pay attention. So at this point we have Dakota installed, so the next step will be that you have it you, in the binary <clears throat> folder you will find when you do, okay, you finish the compilation and now we need make install, so very important, so it will move the files. After doing this, make install will create the binary libraries and so on. So see here that you have the binaries, you have the lead, include files, some examples and so on. And at this point, you are done. Remember that you will need to, and let me go here, edit your bash RC file to point out to the location of the code. In this case, I already did it. So look at here that you have this instruction. So pretty much this is it. Now pointing to the binary. This is to uh, to point to the uh, GUI. Okay. It might, might not be helpful. I don't use it very often, but it's interesting. Okay. I will show you, but nothing, as I mentioned for the GUI, it's just extracting and adding this. Then that causes this one, and this is just to find in Python and so on. So this is it now. So you will have those lines now in the instructions in the video description. So now that you have everything, in my case, I already let me source again. So let me go here, source, bash RC, and then you go Dakota minus B. There you go. So you are using this, uh, <clears throat> this version, everything seems okay. We need to run a tutorial to be 100% sure, but everything is okay. The other thing that I wanted to show you is that I also installed not download the source code for the Dakota GUI, okay? So the user interface, so when you go here, you should have it, no? 
So is this is the one the Linux GUI? Do not download this one. Okay, it's Linux GUI uh, here, and that you only need to extract that one, and then it will launch the the GUI. It can be very helpful, especially if you are a beginner. So I already have the path in my Bash RC. So this is executable. So when you launch it, okay, it will open you know, the the user environment. So everything. It's done in Java, it's quite nice. As I mentioned, I don't use it very often, but if you are a beginner, it might be very, very helpful. So it will create a base case there, load everything. So again, if you have, usually in Linux, you already have all the these Java libraries for development and so on, so it should work. Okay, so if you follow the our instruction, you should have everything. So pretty much this is what you have now the graphical user interface. So I guess I will prepare a video also just to introduce this. So at this point, we're done. We have a working Dakota installation, 6.20. So there it has a new nice improvement. And at this point, let's launch a small tutorial just to be 100% sure. So let's run a tutorial just to be sure that everything is working. So this is a tutorial that comes from our uh, training material, you know what that we do some coupling between open phone, Dakota or Dakota, any tool and do some automation. So video description, you will have the link to the material. So here I extracted on a small case and it's a relatively fast case doing some coupling and so on between different tools and using different optimization methods. So I know I don't want to go into details just to show you that, to be sure that everything is working. So first remember that minus B, we're using this version, very important between version 19, which we have many videos with version 19 and version 20, there are not many differences. So the scripts that we use pretty much, they are the same, they are new additions. So there is no problem, it's fully compatible, all the material. So let's go and run that. Uh, by the way, I'm using OF20, open from 20, uh, uh, 12, sorry. I went in time a lot. Uh, so also there is a new video, how to install 20, but pretty much open from 12, but pretty much it's the same uh, as previous videos. And now let's run the case. And Dakota is running, is synchronizing everything, and we have the solution. So yes, we have a good installation. So at this point, I hope you find the video useful. And while well, you have a few resources in the video descriptions, some other tutorials and so on, plus the instructions I used to stress, this is based in, and we're using uh, OpenSUSE 15.5, okay? If you're using something else, you might need to adjust those instructions. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope to see you in another video. Bye.